two. Hey guys, this is Prack with Repair MD, and um, some of you had issues with uh, putting the display on. So what I'm going to show today is how to mount the display using my liquid adhesive. Okay, and this is my adhesive right here. Uh, this is a one ounce bottle. You can buy it from eBay for about fifty dollars, and uh, you can get ten iPhone five on it. What I'm going to show you today is how to properly get the screen. And this here is an iPhone four, but the same. It's the same technique. You know, uh, the glass has been removed, and so what I need now, pretty much, is to test to make sure this display still works. Okay, this display still works. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this thing in right here. All right, and uh, it's my test phone. Let me power it up. All right, and as you can see, the display works. So all I need to do now is I'm gonna turn this power off, disconnect, okay? Disconnect this from the display unit. Okay, so now um, I know the Nano Putty comes with the package. Um, the biggest problem is sometimes you guys can't really put the Nano Nano Putty. Um, securely so the liquid actually leaks to the back causing a really bad display when you mount it what I'm going to show you to do is how to actually what we're going to do is actually just pull the backlight out okay so again put your thumb right in the corner right over here get the edge and slowly pull out the backlight okay so I'm going to go ahead and pull the backlight out okay carefully pulling the sheet make sure you don't damage it okay so now the backlight for pulling it out and what you're going to have is this piece right here that's some of you it will be stuck onto the backlight so what you do is just uh, pretty much just pull it out exposing this and save this backlight for when you put it back on the display so put it in a safe place and now I'm going to show you how to prep, how to prep the screen. Okay, first thing we need to do, this is a 4S black uh, original glass. So, first thing I'm going to do is actually clean both surface area. I'm going to expose both sides. Okay. And I'm using a... 99.9% .9 alcohol uh, and hydrous alcohol or isopropyl. Clean the surface out, front and back. This is the back of the glass. Okay. And this is the front right here. So cleaning out completely. Okay, make sure there's no residue. Any kind of oil will definitely, if it doesn't even clean up properly, the oil or stain on it will cause air bubbles. So, now I'll take this logic board out of the way. And if you can see in front of me right here, it's a UV lamp. Um, I'm gonna have it nearby. Okay, so move this aside. Everything's been clean. Okay, I'll go ahead and start taping off this area. And, I'll go ahead and tape the piece. Actually, you know, on the uh, on the iPhone uh, 5 and 4S, the original glass, you actually see a little, there's a little gray area. I'm not sure you can see it here, but I'll show you real quick. I'll bring it really close. You can see it right there. That's where the display is. If you guys need to align it, that's where the display is supposed to meet. It's exposed. Instead of glossy, the black is kind of matted top and the bottom so I'm taping it below that area putting my clear tape right here right below okay, that's where I actually want to mount my display on uh, you don't the trick about this is if you don't mount it right it won't go back in or there might be some issues with your display so carefully putting double-sided um, not double-sided uh, clear tape 
this crystal clear tape, framing off the corners, barely in, one eighth of an inch, Get some room, so I'm taping it like so. Again, when you're using my liquid, uh, the new liquid, there's a new mix in my liquid. Uh, it actually dries a little slower, so it gives you some room to adjust. So if, you, if your display is off, you can slide it in place to adjust. Very good, very useful. All right, so now with this, I'm gonna go ahead and lift this play right here. All right, fold it to the edge right here, so I have a handle once it's cure I can pull this out so I'm masking off this area this is the back side see this OEM right there you tell by the QR sticker uh, seal and so what I'm doing now is um, what I found out is that um, this top pressure area here really needs uh, needs to have the original uh, Apple uh, hot glue gun tap right there to prevent pressure from building up so now I have a hot glue gun here I'm just gonna put a small bit in each corner teeny bit like a smaller bead as you can see teeny bead on each corner okay now pressing it down a little bit okay let's do this one more time Want it to be a little recessed down. There you go. So you can see there's a slight little bead in the corner. All right. So now get any lint that remains on top. All right. Now with my liquid, my bonding liquid, I'm gonna slowly open the cap. Pull it right in the middle this time. Pull it right in the middle, making sure there's no bubble. Okay, this is probably more than what I need, but this is just a demonstration of what you guys need to do. As you can see, there's no bubble on here. So now, what I do is actually place this glass right on top right now. Okay, moving the backlight aside. Place this right on top, pushing it away. Okay, now I'm lifting it up, and you can see I'm working the bubbles out of it. And I'm aligning it. Make sure all the bubbles are out front, visually in the front. Okay, so I see no bubbles in it now. Bubbles are clearly gone out of this one. So now, I'm gonna turn it over. I can actually meet the alignment gap right there. You can see the space. So I can actually align it from here. Now I'm gonna turn on my lamp. Turning on my lamp. Setting the time of five minutes. And I'm gonna hold this light. The back of this. First I wanna verify that it's been sealed properly. Yep, there's no bubble at all. So I'm gonna align this just right the area right there okay first thing I'll do is expose the front the top expose it to the light for about 30 seconds okay now it's been exposed I shift if I need to Okay, I'm going to shift it down a little bit. I don't want it to cure too much at the top. Okay, so I got that right there. Now I'm going to go to the bottom. And now I'm going to line the bottom half. Okay. About 30 seconds also. This, I'm doing the iPhone 4, but the iPhone 5, we use the same technique. Uh, I'm just short on iPhone 5 screen, so I can't do this demo with it, but it's pretty much the same. Now, uh, about 30 seconds or so, maybe a little less. Now everything is nice and firm. 
there's no bubble in here at all you can see so now what I'm going to do is actually put it into the uh, put it into the uh, UV curing so I got a little sheet of paper just create a little flap where I can actually pull it out okay so now I insert this in okay Insert it in like so. Okay, set the timer for about five minutes. And leave it there for five minutes and we will be back. I'm turning this off. I mean, the backlight's already gone from here. What we're gonna do is actually pour 99% alcohol into a flask. Okay. And I'm gonna submerge this in. like so for about 10 seconds and what I'm doing is just cleaning any residue off okay it needs to be 99% alcohol if you use 92 you will have issues with the uh, screen because um, it's not approved for electronics you might get some liquid damage so use 99.9% isopropyl alcohol so I'm, what I'm doing is actually going in pour down on it just scratching any of these um, residual glue uh, bonding liquid that's been dried off okay Now I want to pull it out and go ahead and scrape off the access on top using a razor blade. This is a Gorilla Glass so it won't scratch. Okay, as you can see. Now what I'm going to do is actually Pull this off, pull the masking off, exposing the actual display. There you go. So now that the masking is out, carefully when you pull this tape, you don't want to rip the top flex connector. So work your way around it, pulling it up. Now the other side, the frame, like so, okay, and so now what you want to do is just clean this off before you put it back into the phone. Okay, now with all that off, I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning, and I'm using the cotton ball I used earlier just to scrub any impurity off it's very important now to put this backlight on properly so you have that exposed, allow it to dry this is a demo so <coughs> I'm rushing through it so I'm air drying it right now okay I'm gonna go ahead and test the backlight so what I'm gonna do is actually put this back in right here put the backlight this is the LED strip back in here okay and this was the backlight piece that I took out Okay, so if you do have some kind of stain on it, use alcohol and just run it off. If you have to do one sheet at a time, that's fine. That's how you clean the strip. And then you just blow dry it with a air gun, with a can air. Okay, but anyways, um, like I said, this is a demo. 
and it'll rush through it. And so you put this bracket back on, and we'll go ahead and test the phone out. Okay, the display. Let me turn this off real quick. And put the digitizer, display and digitizer. And let me go ahead and find something to rest this on top of. But anyways, let's go ahead and test it out. Okay, as you can see. See how clean? Bring up a white screen here. Perfect. So again, um, if you do have backlight, you can clean it. But this is how you mount using my liquid. Okay? So again, no bubbles. Perfect mounting. If you have any questions at all, just uh, leave me a comment. And um, you can find all my supplies for this on my eBay site. This is Procrit Eye Repair MD. You guys... Have a good day and good luck with your repairs.